Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and today I thought we'd talk about some queens. More specifically, some queen knives. So I got this Hawkbill here, and I got this Welland Jack. I really like this Welland Jack. And we're going to talk about that for a little bit. We're going to start with the Hawkbill. We're going to talk dates, we're going to talk about how much I paid for them, and we're going to talk about what I'm going to do with them. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Thought I'd hit you up on a Monday for a quickie in case some of you guys are bored and want to see a video on some old queens, all right? Uh, yeah, this kind of old queens, all right? <clears throat> so check this out. This is a beautiful old Hawkbill. When I first got that thing, it was covered in rust. But look at that. After it cleaned up, you're now able to see the grain of some of that wood right there. Look at that beautiful wooden grain in there. It's got a hole in it. I think this used to have a rope in it. Yeah. Beautiful hawkbill knife. Yeah. This has withstood the test of time. It is a liner lock, as you can see. And we're going to look at the tang stamp in a little bit. So... It's got a bit of a half stop. It does not snap closed. It does snap open really firm. It's firmly in place. It's got a eh, teensy little bit of play, nothing major. Oh, why is it whenever I do a video, the dryer goes off, guys? I don't even know. Okay, so check that tank stamp out. Queen City, Titusville, Pennsylvania. So that tank stamp pretty much puts this at 1925 to 19. 32. So this knife is about 100 years old. And I think for 100 years old, it looks pretty damn good. Don't you? I don't know what kind of wood this beautiful wood is right here, but it might be some type of a walnut or oak. Uh, it's just really rich. And you can tell that it's been very well preserved and oiled and used. And, and uh, this knife is just has withstood the test of time. It's got metal liners right there. And I don't know if that has anything to do with the war effort and, you know, that maybe brass was more expensive to produce, uh, but it does have steel liners. Okay, although this, let's see. Yeah, honestly, the liner lock also looks like it's steel as well. Okay, so I'm showing you this knife here because I'm going to get rid of it pretty soon. I'm going to sell it. Didn't pay very much for this knife. I paid like 10 bucks for it, but that was before I cleaned it up some. This thing was just covered in rust. So I'm going to sell it. Maybe I can get a little more because I bought a couple of things and I want to replace that money. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this bad boy. I'm um, putting her up for sale uh, tomorrow. So it'll be there in case any of you guys are interested. It's a good looking old knife. All right, guys, now this one I'm going to sell, but uh, this other one I am definitely not going to sell. <clears throat> I paid about 15 bucks for this one a long time ago. When I say a long time ago, I mean like a year ago. I just never did a video on it. I really like this knife. This is a swell end, and it is a queen knife, and it is a two-blade jack. It's got a nice little crack right there that's probably about 50, 70 years old, but it's pretty stable. Um, I believe this, these are called winter bottom bone uh, covers here. Brass pins, brass liners. You see the age got to this a teensy little bit. Starting to be a little bit expansion there. It's pretty solid, so I'm not worried. Um, this thing just drops in your pocket like a torpedo. I love carrying this knife. It's just the right length for me closed. It's about three and... Uh, three quarter inches <coughs> which is not bad at all uh here we have the blade with the q on it now that q tells me that the date for this knife this knife was made somewhere between 1932 and 1955 now remember this one was made between 1925 and 1932. So this one's older than that one. This one's 1932 to 1955. And as you can see, that blade has had some major sharpening, but guess what? It is very sharp. There's no wobble. And uh, this knife is solid, okay? Very dirty when I got it, but I did do some cleaning up on this thing. Um, half stop. Did you hear that snap? Let's hear that again. Open, half guillotine right there very nice <sighs> check this bad boy out this blade looks like it was hardly used at all 
it's just a little bit of corrosion. Open, half, close, guillotine, very nice. Gorgeous little knife, love this knife. This is a knife that I carry quite often. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. It's a good church knife. It doesn't bulge out in your pocket. So you can see carbon steel throughout. Um, it does have brass liners. Just a gorgeous little knife. Can you imagine what this looked like brand new? Uh, this knife probably has some stories to tell my friend. I can tell somebody loved this knife. They really did. You know, when I first got it, uh, I did do something to it. Uh, this bottom part of the blade actually extended a little further out here. And it just looked really obvious that somebody was using this to whittle. So, because this looks so recessed, I went ahead and I, I put a little edge here. And I took off some meat from there, from the blade, so it wouldn't be so protruding out. And... Uh, just to make it look a little more uniform. And of course I can't add any more material in here, so I just took off a little bit on the bottom, made it get look a little bit better in my eyes anyway. But I do like this knife. It's a good looking knife. Um, gosh, guys, they don't make them like this anymore. Um, this is just a gorgeous knife. I can only imagine what it was like when it was brand spanking new. Look at that cue right there. Very sweet, very, very sweet. Yeah, I got to search out on eBay for another one of these. I like it so much. Now, there's one of these. It's called uh, Queen Number 10. But I think that they made this one before they started giving them, like, the number 10 designation. But this is the size of a Queen Number 10. But I think that those have Delrin handles. And uh, this is clearly bone right here. So, yeah, check it out. Check it out, amigos. So, yeah, I wanted to give you some eye candy. Stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned because guess what? When I hit 3,000 subs, I'm going to do another giveaway. And I've already told you what I'm going to do with that giveaway. But uh, you'll know it when you hear it. And when you hear it, it's going to be about two minutes into the video. I will let you know. And I'm doing it a bit covert because of those darn scammers. Those darn scammers really did a number last time and that's why i'm not going to call it the giveaway video or anything like that it's just going to be uh a regular video and two minutes in i'm going to say hey by the way this is it right and i'll let you know by the way this is not it <laughs> but when i hit around 3,000 subs it's going to happen right now i'm about 110 subs away so uh it's coming close amigos help me get to 3,000 so we can do the next giveaway all right, my friends, I'm going to let you go. You guys have a blessed, blessed week. It's going to be a busy one, but guess what? I believe you got the talent and skill to get through it, amigos. You were chosen. You're one of the chosen ones. Take care. God bless.